One of the best things that I've done in the last 15 years as a software developer was get one of these. No, it's not a regular desk, okay? It's a standing desk. I'm standing up and... And I got this thing a long time ago before they were popular. You could say I was one of the pioneers of standing desk. You can say I was uh, an early adopter. <laughs> <laughs> this was from a company called Geek Desk. I believe they're still around. And this is a 72 inch honka that I've dragged around with me to many houses, many cities that I lived in, and it was totally worth it. But over time, what was initially exciting and novel and uh, good for you, <laughs> you know what happens when we have to do things that are good for us, right? Over time, I started getting lower and lower and lower and lower until I found myself sitting every day. Not only that, but I started making YouTube videos. Huh? Huh? <laughs> and this desk, while it was really good initially started doing this and yeah I tried oiling it okay when I'm sitting down it doesn't do that but in its highest position yeah this is one of the old timer desks where you actually uh, have to hold down both of the buttons in order for it to go down. There is no memory, there's no presets. You have to keep holding it, otherwise it just, it doesn't go down or up. But that little motor still works after all this time. Now Geek Desk did release a new one of these where you only have to press the button up or down, one button, not both. And I tried getting in touch with them to see if I could just swap out this little module, which you'd think you just swap this out and everything's good to go, but they denied me. They said I'd have to buy a whole new desk. But also lately I've been downsizing a bit. I used to have two monitors standing on my desk. Now I use arms for my monitors. So the touch point with the desk is very small. It's just that right there. I also used to have two gigantic speakers on either side of my desk. These were the KRK V8 studio monitors. Really good speakers, but I felt like I wasn't really taking advantage of them, especially because the MacBook Pro has such good speakers and I'm not really mixing music. I'm just doing this for audio for now. So yeah, that's enough. I got rid of the speakers and suddenly this 72 inch desk seems like a bit much. So I got a new standing desk, which is right outside and it fulfills every feature that I want, except for this little patch bay. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet. So first and foremost, for me, the standing desk must be completely electric. The crank stuff doesn't work for me. The permanent standing desks don't work for me because sometimes I do like to sit down and I absolutely cannot stand those things that you put on your desk to lift up just your computer, useless. And that's what I'd recommend to you as well, a fully electric one and and one thing that I've really missed with this desk is having memory buttons. Yes, one, it remembers where your standing position is and it remembers where your sitting position is. And you just switch between them. There's no guessing, oh, is this high enough? Is this high enough? Or is this high enough? This is a flexi spot E7. It's got the length that I want, which is gonna give me a little more space in my office. I've already started wiring it up. It doesn't come with this power strip. I screwed that in and that's a pro tip for you all folks. But the most important thing is this right here. One is my sitting position. Come on, I sit that low? That's my sitting position right here. It even tells me the number, so I remember. And now I'm gonna set my standing position, so I don't need to use two fingers for this. I'm holding the camera with my other hand and just using one finger to lift this up. Who thought it was a good idea to use two fingers? Somebody did. This seems kind of nice right here. This is 47.7. I'm actually six feet tall and this goes up to 50. So three more inches. If you're six foot three, this would still be pretty comfortable for you. And I like my desk pretty high, so maybe even taller than that. And I'm gonna save it to memory spot number three. And now when I sit, I press one. When I stand, I press three. And now the final test. Okay, this thing is not budging. No side to side wobble and no squeakiness. And that's a winner. So unfortunately there's one thing about this new desk why I won't be upgrading just yet. And it's a personal preference kind of thing. I've just measured my desk and it's 31 and a half inches. The new desk, 29 and a half. And I like to have a deep desk because sometimes I put a lot of things on my desk, whether it's laptops to test them out. I have a teleprompter here. I need it to go as far back as possible. I also have other equipment on my desk sometimes and I wanna have even more. And the only way to accomplish that is with a deep desk. The FlexiSpot desk is good, but if I could just use the base and upgrade the top to a desk that's deeper, I think that would do it for me. If FlexiSpot doesn't allow you to buy a tabletop by itself, I'm gonna have to figure out another way. This is the 
desk I have. Oh, look, there's Linus. So I wonder if there's an option to buy just the top here. Desktop only. Yes. Bamboo top. Ah, uh, they only go up to 30 inches. Kind of what I have, I guess. 29 and a half. Maybe that's what they mean by 30. What about solid wood? No, the wooden ones are even shorter. Chipboard? I hate chipboard. No. 30 inch maximum. Okay, one last chance. Ergo and gaming. 28, 27, 30. Uh, I think it's up to me to find it somewhere else. I may even try to see what I can do just with what I have as a temporary stopgap. But the base is good. I'll keep the base because it's really strong. I was able to lift myself. I made a video about this desk uh, when I got it last year. It's just not getting the use that it could have gotten sitting here in my office. Well, now the base will. In the meantime, I'll keep looking for a wider top. And if you know one, let me know in the comments down below. I know some clever folks that are watching might say, well, Alex, why don't you just take this top and put it on those legs and then you'll be all set. That would sort of work, but then I'd have a very long overhang and I want the top to be a little bit shorter. And also I would have the legs from this desk and the top from that desk unusable because top from that desk is 60 inches and these legs are more than 60 inches apart. I'm back to standing at my desk now because I really like it and it's good for me. And I feel uh, like my back gets some kind of a workout during the day instead of just sitting all day. Just gotta figure out my optimal camera situation and then we'll be all set. I was gonna make this video anyway about my old desk and then FlexiSpot sent me the desk last year. I didn't buy the E7 desk, but they sent it to me and I really like it. So thanks FlexiSpot for sending it to me again, even though I already made a video about it last year. And if you want one for yourself, there's a link in the description. Check out that other video I made. I still use all the stuff I had in that video. That's videos right over here. Hey, look at me. I'm walking around. <laughs> I love that. I missed it. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you next time.